Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we're gonna head into Longhorn Steakhouse. We've been here before um, and we're gonna go in. This will be our first time reviewing it though. We've never made a video on this channel. And we're gonna we're gonna show you what it's all about. And we're gonna share that with you, right Dawn? Ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. It is a rainy day here in the Great Smoky Mountains, and it is a Saturday night. Folks are traveling up and down the parkway here, and Longhorn is located right across the street from Tanger Outlets. And about a week ago, we were over at Outback. We did a review over there, and you can see a lot of folks are coming into town. It's bumper to bumper. So we are here in Pigeon Forge, Skyland Ranch is directly behind us and that crazy mountain coaster. We're gonna go in, we're gonna see what Longhorn has to offer us, right? Oh, yeah. Dawn, you look you look amazing today. the decor in there look at that and they got the uh, Cowboys silhouette riding up against the wall there looks very comfy I think that's a longhorn steer and he's got long horns and they got a pretty crazy bar here so it's a 25 minute wait and there is a wait on the inside everybody's all lined up and over half the tables are empty so that means that they definitely have a staffing shortage uh, and it is Saturday night so they probably have all their hands on deck but it's only a 25 minute wait which is not bad at all no. and all the, the steaks you can smell the steaks from outside and they, they smell and really they smell good. good yes in the past we've had good service here we've, we've been here before we never had a bad bad experience so we're gonna share that with you we're gonna show you what it's about and, and share that with you Seeing that we're walking around outside, yeah, that's the mountain coaster to Skyland Ranch. We've we zipped around there before. That's a lot of fun. And we're just watching the the back up here, the folks heading in. Yeah, we're sitting right underneath the cowboys. That's a fun little table. They have mobile pay here. Yeah, and then here's our menus just over there. It's a nice little nice little table here. Welcome, steak done right. They have quality cuts, one-of-a-kind seasonings, and grill masters. Hmm.
so here is their menu and I think we're gonna get a starter tonight um, a lot of folks request us to try some of these these starters I'm not sure what we're gonna get to have they have the new Parmesan crusted spinach dip that's only $9.49 oh. do you want to try maybe some spinach dip or whatever you want. What, what, yeah, I think we're gonna try that spinach dip to start off with. So if you've been watching us for a while, you'll know that I love a ribeye. And that's what I'm gonna get tonight. I wanna try to get a ribeye from every place in the area. And it's a 12 ounce for $23.49. And if you know Dawn, she's gonna get a filet. She'll get the Flo's filet. She usually gets it uh, butterflied. And it comes in a six ounce or a nine ounce, and it's twenty two uh, forty nine for the six ounce or uh, twenty seven ninety nine for the nine ounce. And so far, the service has been real great. Uh, they've been right on top of it. Our waters came out promptly, and the bread is here. We're gonna check this bread out. It smells good. Dawn's like, quit filming. Let's get into that bread. <laughs> I'm gonna dig in. She wants to dig in. There's the bread, huh? So first off. Yes, it's it's right out of the oven. Comes with some some butter there, and we got a, a plate for each one of us. So I'm gonna cut into the bread. Ooh, look at that! Looks flaky on the outside. It's flaky, you can tell. Yes. Oh wow! Yeah, it looks really good. I love warm bread. There's nothing better than bread out of the oven. The bread is very hot. It's warm. It's fresh and flaky. Good. Out of the oven. Uh, flaky on the outside. And our Parmesan crusted spinach dip is here. Look at that. So yeah, go ahead and just, I guess, use that spoon, yeah? Oh, look at that. It's creamy. It is. Don't burn yourself. It's super hot. It's hot. Super hot. Oh wow. It's good. So this is the new um, item on their menu. Does it actually taste the Parmesan crust crust cheese? So you taste Parmesan mm -hmm. in, in that spinach dip and the mm -hmm. cheese and wow. Yes. I can't wait to uh, grab a bite myself here. The aroma coming from this is look at that. Mm. Yeah, look at that. It looks good. It, it tastes look good. good. I had some. <laughs> it's super thick. It's, it's just hot. It's really, really hot. It's dripping all over. Oh, I'm losing it. Mm. It's good, ain't it? That is probably one of the best appetizers I've had in a long time. It's 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 amazing. It is amazing. It's a lot though. There's a lot here. I want some more. <laughs> I want another one. Well, you can see all the um, spinach in there. Wow. These here are good in just themselves. Right around the same time our appetizer came out, our salads are here. So of course I ordered a Caesar, and you all should know I. I love a good Caesar. And I'm gonna see what this one is all about. Ah, I can see the, uh, the sauce all mixed in there. The croutons, a little Parmesan on top. And Dawn, you got the, the, house, the house salad, right? And some tomatoes over there. A little side of ranch. Oh boy, looking good. So I'm gonna get into my salad. Now this was one of our sides we we've chosen is the salad. You get two sides. Um, we got a salad and I got a load of baked potato and I think you got a load of baked potato too. It's fresh. It's a good fresh salad. It looks fresh. Looks good. The Caesar dressing is a little bit sweet. It doesn't have like that that tanginess that some do. Still tangy though, but it's not like super tangy the way I like it. A little bit, like I said, a little more sweeter. Our steaks are here, and I got the ribeye. Looks really good. It's a 12 ounce ribeye. Uh, it's um, 
should be about medium-ish to well-ish, somewhere in, in between there. And I got a loaded baked potato. Of course, you all know that Dawn got the filet, and it's been butterflied. Looking good. And you got a loaded baked potato. And here, they, they put the salt on the outside, too, like they do at Texas Roadhouse and Longhorn Steakhouses. So it seems like it's tender. It's cutting pretty good. What is it? It's kind of a, looks like a well done. I would medium well done. Well medium, done. medium well. So I would say it's probably be more between the uh, well and then the medium, right? Because it looks, yeah. So I would say that's definitely uh, well done and you ordered medium. So that's a little bit off. It's very tender. Very tender. It's, it's definitely uh, it's yeah. a, lot, a, lot of flavor. a lot of flavor in there. And of course, got that baked potato. Ooh, go ahead and mix it up a little bit and see what that's about. See what's. Oh, yeah. Looks like they did pretty good with the sour cream helping. And the, the potato looks like it's tender. Mm. I got that butchered. <laughs> it's huge. It's heavy duty, too. Okay, so I got mine um, like medium, and um, yeah, this is definitely medium. That'd be medium well. Yeah, medium, medium well. It's medium. I said medium. So that's. You have to take a bite. Yeah, it's juicy. Mm, it's with the mouth. Mmm, really good. Melts in your mouth. The outside is done perfect. It's not chewy at all. Now you can definitely taste their, their seasoning in it. Um, super juicy. I mean, really, really juicy. Look at that. It's the loaded baked potato. And it looks like we're going to be taking all this home with us. It's going to be... Uh, uh, a different meal at a different date, right? <sighs> Until next time. So the spinach dip was ten dollars. Dawn's fillet was twenty-seven. Mine was twenty-three, and our total came out to sixty-eight thirteen. I think it was a good experience, and our waiter was top-notch. He was awesome. Yes, uh, the atmosphere in the inside is really cool. They have uh, like the you know the cattle like staring at you while you eat that's kind of odd but it's cool Don says oh there's a lot of um, stuffed animals, stuffed animals here. around here right <laughs> I don't think they're stuffed animals I think that's supposed to be the proper term yeah, yeah, is taxidermy. taxidermy yeah they're like anyways they have a really crazy like bar in there it looks really good and get big old um, longhorn um, steer staring down at y'all oh you're waiting for your um table to be ready you could go to the bar and have a drink yeah I guess you could Pure yeah drink. So, yeah, like I said, everything was nice in there. Um, they told us 22-minute wait. We sat down at about 18, so they were right on top of that. They have an app to where you can follow your place in line, and uh, that was really cool also. So we ordered an appetizer. It was the Parmesan Crusted Spinach Dip. Ooh, so what good. What did you think about that? It was so good. The pita chips were soft, and the Parmesan Crusted Herb Spinach Dip was like, oh. Yes. Just spot on. One of the better appetizers we've had in a while. I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Even to come in and just get that and maybe a dessert or or something in that realm. I think we did not get a dessert. It was $10 too. Yeah. It wasn't a bad. It was yeah. worth it for a spinach dip. Yeah, it was good. Really and good. the pita chips were soft. It was great. Yeah. So then our salads came out. What do you think about all that? The salad, I got a house salad. I always yeah. get the house salad. Caesar. With the ranch on the side. It was good and it was fresh. The plate was cold. Yeah, the Caesar was good. Uh, not as tangy as I like it, but still tangy. Still good, guys. But anyways, let's talk about those steaks. Oh, mine was a filet, butterflied, medium well, and it was so tender and juicy. It was like spot on. Yes, and I ordered the ribeye like always. It was a 12 ounce. 
Um, that was the, the biggest one you can get. I think the other steakhouses in the area, um, you can get bigger ones, at least 16 ounce and higher. Uh, but I would think it was great. 12 ounces is a great, I don't think they even had a smaller steak. It was just a 12 ounce. That's all you could get for a ribeye because I didn't really want to get a big steak, especially after ordering the appetizer. I was like, okay, you know, maybe, you know, get a smaller steak, but um, but that's all they offered. And it was great. It was juicy throughout. I ordered mine um, medium. I told them I like it between, I like between medium and, and, and medium well. So I kind of like, I don't like it medium, medium. I like it well, but not too well. And I think they did it right. I think they did it right. Um, very good. Um, just, everything was great. So I guess the big question is, would you do Longhorn again? Oh yeah, that was a very good experience. I definitely want to do very that again. Good. Very good. Now we are, we found our a love with um, Texas Roadhouse and they're really great. And Outback was great the other day. And Longhorn lived up to its, um, but we're going to do a video in the future where we kind, kind of compare all of our experiences at these different roadhouse or these roadhouses <laughs> at these different steakhouses i guess they're kind of like texas roadhouse steakhouse i guess the roadhouse right and there's a lot of houses in it <laughs> anyways uh yes yeah, so definitely do it again uh wow it was great right right but folks that's gonna do it for today here in severeville <laughs> i forgot what town i think well, pigeon forge is over there i forgot what town we were in it's Sevierville. Guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. We do food reviews and we got a road trip coming up, guys. Stay tuned to that. It's going to be amazing. I promise you it will be amazing. It's nothing we've ever done on this channel before. It's going to be lots of fun. We love you, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Until Bye, next everyone. Time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, everyone. This is the point on the video where I, I, I drag the video out. So I can put those little boxes, like right here. It should be a box that appears here, and there's a box that appears over here, and then there's that little circle in the center. And if you click on that circle, you, you can subscribe to the channel.